Hi guys, I figured I'd just make a video, I'm just kind of messing around on the computer, some stuff like that. So, I go to record this video, I was going to use uh, OBS, yeah it was OBS I'm going to be using over here. And when I go into the settings, I could have swore for the life of me that this was supported before. Went under, what was it, I think it was under here? Something, oh no, encoder. It was, uh, I could have swore AMD encoder was there. But that possibly been might have been when I was playing around with Windows. I don't remember. Just using Audacity for audio co uh, recording. That way I can go back and clean it up later. Oh yeah, speaking of which. Not many people have seen my old computer. Get a look at that gorgeous thing. Actually should be doing this. No, oh, I don't have that set up for that. that there's my computer. <laughs> Old computer, I remind you. These were, this was a, I think that was a 500. Here was a couple 500s. Under here was two terabytes, and I think these might have been in like a 756. And then another one terabyte. We got a GTX 5, 660? I think it was a 660, and we just got a PCI X1 SATA running all those drives. I have no idea. This was an uh, Intel i3, some cheap power supply I got off eBay. I was using a TV, 720p TV for my monitor, I think. I don't know what it was. But this is what replaced it. We got the AMD 1700X. I believe, and we have, this is the ASUS, this one's MSI, but they're both uh, RX 580s, 8 gig versions. Down below we have uh, two 8, eight terabyte hard drives, an SSD in the back, which I've had problems with SSDs, I don't know if it's something to do with Linux or what. And then we got a 180, Corsair 180 radiator in the top. Yeah, that's my rig I'm on right now. But I was trying to do the hardware encoding with OBS. That way my CPU was usage wasn't as high. But this here is what I figured would make this video about. The other day, actually a couple months ago, I got a new camera. It was a Canon EOS 80D. We had a lightning storm, so I went out one of those days and took some pictures. This one has been modified. Was the lines we're running for the bottom part of it, but we're going to remove the lines for it. I have quite a few people ask me how you take lightning photos. That's my secret. I ain't giving that one up. Now, there's probably someone that knows exactly what I'm doing to get a lightning shot and it's going to blow it away in the comments. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to figure it out. But. Pick one. Well, this one looks like an okay one. Which one do I want to play with? Yeah, let's do this. Might remove these weeds over here too, because I think I was sitting down in the ditch when that was happening. That's a smart idea. <laughs> Maybe we'll do this one. We'll remove all these. This stuff, the can this is my neighbor's camper and stuff. Ain't too impressive lightning strike, but we'll just remove it. I haven't been on GIMP in months, so bear with me. I ain't no pro at it either. Alright, for that to get started. Okay, where is my one toolbar? It's gone. That's weird. Oh, I hate when it does this. Sometimes it does not want. Where do they hide it? Tools. Maybe it's under Windows. Recently closed. I don't know why that was closed. Okay, it's been a very long time since I've been on GIMP. But let's just make this a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the monitor I'm using right now is uh, AOC, I think it is, 
4K. It's like one of the cheapest 4K monitors you can get. Let me just zoom in a bit. I want to remove this thing, so. Give me a minute to figure out which tool. I think it was this one. Let's just, just blow it up a little bit. A little more. Okay, that's a little too big. Now, I think. What was it? Press control, I believe it is. I think if I did that right. And then you just kind of run it for real. If you look at that, it actually works pretty good. As long as you got that thing pretty close, that one circle, this circle right here, pretty close to it, the colors are going to be pretty similar. You won't notice that this has been done unless you like zoom into the photo. I mean, you gotta like really zoom into it to notice that this has been done to the photo. Now, this is pretty easy to do because there's not a whole lot of stuff you have to work around. Oops. Just get up to a lightning and I'll stop. Come this side. Put our box a little bit higher. We'll just continue on away. Put a box up here. Just keep on going. This GIMP program for being free is the best photo editing software I've ever found. And look at that, we pretty much got it all. And then like I can't tell it. Looking at my screen, like even if I was to zoom in, you can kinda tell it, but we can kind of clean that up. Let's just shrink down the brush. Let's shrink it down quite a bit. Whoops. Yeah. There we go. Oops. And let's set it at set 50. Let's see what 50 looks like. That's not too bad. Set our brush under here. Clean it up around the lightning a little bit more. When you're out in the dark, pitch black, it is about impossible to see what you're actually shooting until the strike happens. So you gotta clean this stuff up sometimes. Now we gotta shrink this down. I'm thinking we'll shrink it down to about three pixels. So I just slucked up here on the lightning. And we'll just continue this down. Take a couple passes, just kind of give it that choppiness that it looks. Run it up a little bit. And let's select over here. Just remove that dark edge. Okay. And there's where the line was ran. Now let's remove this light, light pool over here. So I'm going to select this and we're going to make this bigger. Let's set this at 100. Probably do pretty good. So let's just select over here. We're going to remove this wire. Okay, let's select back here. Let's run it in. No. Getting rid of the light shadow from that. Or the flare, as some people call it. Let's look down here and remove part of this pool. It definitely ain't the fastest that does, this is for sure. <laughs> If you wanted a quick tutorial, you clicked on the wrong video probably. Just 
trying to fade the blue into it and remove of it, but you don't want to make it get noticeable. turn those trees all black for here so that's what we got so far looking a lot better than uh, shrink it down looking a little bit better ain't so now we're just gonna come in here with right this set it up make it a little bigger you know what I want this tool. Shrink it down a little bit. And just color out the trees. Make it make all the, the field, the camper. Make it all match. I could make that look a little bit better if I would take my time but I'm trying to you know hurry up for you guys and I think it's this one that you can use for blurring whoops that was totally not right got the smudge tool that might clean that light pull up a little bit and let's just run that over where that pull was I mean the light wire and then boom that is pretty good, I would have to say. So I'm just going to export that. Don't want to write over. I'm just going to tort ED for edited. Quality. I don't think there's anything I got to mess with there. You know what, this photo editor is not the best one I've found. Short well viewer. It's normally a better editor. I mean photo viewer. And And there's your before and after. Can't tell it if I had to take blur this in a little bit better and stuff but it definitely looks a lot better in my opinion how many minutes we at did my thing crash we're at 13 minutes I guess we can do another one so let's see this here I would have to say is probably about one of my best strikes I've ever gotten if you go over my google plus page I've posted ones I've gotten years ago but we could clean this one up. This one gives us a little more challenge because of all the light. What was that? This one? Yeah. That's a nice bolt there. If I would have had my exposure just a little bit better, there would have been a huge bolt for the center there. Yeah, I want to save that one for later. We'll do something with that. So I already did that one. Then over on the left right there we got a few small strikes. Got some nice lighting in the clouds. Let's do this one. This is one of eight. Okay. Oops. Okay. Same procedure. So I'm gonna select this tool and we're gonna shrink it down. this gets too long I might just cut this out so let's just select up here Oops. let's 
set up op transparency down a little bit. Fade out the weeds. Move my bar. You always have to remember less is more. I found that out. You'll sit there and you'll spend hours just working on a photo, and then you look at it and it's like that looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> Even with videos, I found I like it if you don't edit, add all kinds of effects and all kinds of, you know. This just seems to be more. Maybe that's just my opinion, but... Okay, stop with the lightning. Put a circle back up there. Just continue along. Let's just run this for a second time because I can still see I missed some of it. Okay. Let's just skip over that. We'll catch that in a minute here. Just put a brush up there. Gonna mess around with this whole lot, but I found one thing with trees. You just wanna clone where the tree was. Kind of give it some rendering pattern. Just clip up here. You, just, you won't even tell that it was there. I mean, this is 24 megapixels, but this was also a night shot, so I mean, it's so easy to hide stuff. This over here looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> it's all about the looks, right? Let's just set this down to 5 pixels. Let's zoom in here. Put a clone up there. Just keep working away on those. About to shrink that out down to about a pixel to get those. I'll set this to 3 pixels. this up a little bit. Set it down to a pixel. Now what? That might not even be really noticeable. When you zoom out. Let's just resize this to around 10 pixels, should be pretty good. So close, just sit there. Remove this. Take a couple different passes. Select from the bottom just to give it a little bit of color difference.
I don't even know what to really title this video right now. <laughs> Not like I just playing around with the brushes, so guess we'll just title it as something like that. Probably getting quite long right now. I'm slow. Bring a little bit of that color back in there. I want to get rid of that, so I'm just gonna. That definitely needs a little bit of cleanup work, right? There's what it kind of looks like. Just don't get too close. That's all. It looks pretty good for my house. <laughs> okay, we're at 21 minutes. I'll probably stop this. Yeah, might go for another couple minutes. Time I get done editing, ripping all the nasty parts out. Might speed it up, you know. Let's continue. This file is going to be getting huge. What is that? It's under a gigabyte? I'm surprised. This my camera would have like almost a 30 gigabyte file. I'm just clean up by these couple smaller bolts. Yeah. Don't get too close, that's all you gotta remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been putting out some YouTube videos. I would like to start hitting my channel a little bit more. It's been like, I don't even remember. I released a video the other day. It's like first time in like three years. <laughs> don't know. Somehow I gained like a hundred subscribers. Originally a long time ago I was thinking of starting a channel trying to make thing that is my income but it just seemed like it was I don't know exactly how you want to put it like a pain. But now YouTube removed all my uh, ad sense thing whatever you call it. So now I can't make anything because I don't have a thousand subscribers or I think it's something goofy like 400 minutes of watch time, and, you know. So I actually need to set this to free. So it's like, what's the point, YouTube? Like, who actually would even really want to watch my stuff? I don't know. I don't even know really what to make my channel about. There we go. Got that cleaned up some. So, I'll start removing these weeds. So, I brushed it around 70% transparent. I'm going to set it to 75, the size, it's just a little too close, slide here, these weeds, I don't know why, sometimes this kind of stuff right here can be a real pain to remove. Just me, but I've noticed that. OK, 
Okay, we got this kind of removed, but as you see, it's quite nasty over there. Wrong toll again. I think they call this what is it, a smudge tool. Yeah, we're gonna smudge it up so you can't see this. So just gonna kind of bring the color <laughs> over here. This is bidirectional because if I go like this, you see what it does. Kind of makes a mess. I don't really want that look, so I'm just gonna kind of bring the darker colors in a straight-ish kind of line. I'm just gonna kind of fade those out every now and then. Just kind of bring the darker color up now. I don't know what that is. It's probably a raindrop, so it's just kind of faded out. Doesn't look very good there to me. Looks pretty good to me. No, it does. It's just kind of. And we're just going to clean up a little bit where we removed those lines. I'll have to shrink that down here in a minute. Man, I need to clean my computer screen, that's for sure. Shrink this down to around 20 pixels. I'm just going to get in here a little bit. Kind of smooth out the colors. That's looking pretty good now. And there we go. That don't look too bad. I'm just going to do this as edited. Mm -hmm. Computer's a bit slow. It's a real shame you can't do that. I got open CL and all that stuff because I sometimes mine with my computer. I got all that stuff installed. Oops, I don't like this editor. I want to open this with this one. I should set that as a default. I can't see it. There is a before. Yeah. Get over there. Same one. That's yep, that's it. There's our before and there's our after over here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Need a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Just joking. Might make this my hobby. I don't know. Post in the comments what you guys think.